Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have a great article for you guys from Fierce Wireless. I will leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. So Verizon is trying to deploy capacity as quickly as they possibly can. And they're trying to put lots of it on air for obvious reasons, for, for wireless mo mobility usage and, of course, for fixed wireless access. But at the same time, they are also trying to deploy this as efficiently as possible. They have a high capex, but if they can save costs on operation, opex, on the leases, on weight, whatever it may be, they want to do that. So here, Samsung Verizon press for CBRS slash C-band radio approval. So this would be a dual band radio. So they could essentially deploy one panel with a dual band radio that can do CBRS and C-band. At the current time in Samsung markets and even in Ericsson markets, Verizon has to deploy two separate radios. They have to deploy a radio, a built-in radio for a massive MIMO panel, and they have to deploy a radio for CBRS. They're trying to push to get approval to deploy a dual-band radio to where they can deploy one panel that can support a radio that can do C-band and CBRS at the same time. It's a more e efficient model to deploy this. For an example, T-Mobile is waiting to deploy their C-band and their DoD assets until there is a dual band radio to where they can go climb sites and just deploy one panel that can do both frequencies. That's a more efficient deployment. If they have to go back to the sites, right, speaking on T-Mobile, and they had to deploy a 6449 and a 6419, that would obviously increase the weight at the site, and that would cause them to pay a higher cost on leasing. If the, I'm told if the weight increases at the site, it, it will cause for them to have to renegotiate and pay a higher leasing. So they just want to go back. They already have the 2.5 panel, so they want to deploy one panel that has a dual band radio in it that can do the, the, the DOD frequency, the 3.45 and the 3.7, the C-band. And Verizon is looking to do the same here with CBRS slash C-band. So this is a very good strategy. It's, it's, a, it's a model that should be supported by all the carriers moving forward. Less panel panels means less weight on the site. AT&T had to learn that the hard way. If you guys remember their old setups... Before before FirstNet came around, in some cases in my market, they had some four or five, six panels on some sectors having to push each frequency that they that they own individually, which I will say has its benefits. If you can deploy deploy each frequency on its own panel and radio, it will allow for that frequency to have better reach because you don't have to split the power. If you put multiple frequencies on one on one panel, you're going to have to split the power between all of them. So that 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 is the downside to it. You can push your frequencies to have better range and reach if they're individually supported on the panels, but financially it just doesn't make sense, right? It's more efficient to deploy it with dual band radio, in some cases even a a tri band radio like what Dish is doing. If you look at Dish, they have one panel per sector but their radios that are on those panels support all of their frequencies. So that's a smart, efficient deployment. And that's what Verizon is trying to achieve. So let me know what you think about that in the comments. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.